Hi everyone, PhD Simmer here and I hope you enjoyed that little intro. Up with my current household, la, 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 I can't even speak English. I am late with my current household update. This is April's video and I haven't actually played my current household very much because I've been so crazily busy. Let me just start a timer because I don't want this video to be too long. These current households really, it's just an update of the house I am playing off screen. But like I said, I haven't really played much. I've played probably maybe a few hours, like really nothing at all. When I first started this, I was a completely addicted, like proper addicted. But not that I'm not loving it still. I am loving it, but I just have got so busy with work. I'm actually bringing home work home with me, which I, when I finished my PhD, I wanted to stop that. I wanted to leave work, come home and be home. Um, so I'm really going to try and get out of the habit of bringing work home with me. Anyway, that's beside the point. Today I'm giving you an update of my current household, which is the starting from scratch challenge. Uh, links in the, in the description if you, if you do want to check out the rules. But, uh, wow, where are we? <laughs> I'm a mess. It's so hot in my flat right now. It's about 25 degrees outside, which may not, uh, centigrade, which may not sound centigrade Celsius, which is the right one? Celsius, right? Yeah. Mm, yeah. I, I, my brain is addled with heat. I can't, I can't deal with it. Yeah. So it's about 25 degrees outside. However, my flat is stupidly in the loft of a building and it's freaking roasting. It's got quite small windows and yeah, there's no air. I've got a fan in my office, um, but I didn't want to put that on for the video. So yeah, I'm roasting and it's, me it's melted my brain. It's literally melted my brain. Anyway, let's get on with it. But I thought I'd start with this cute little screen shot here of, look at the dog, so proud. It's just like, oh, you proud mama. I'm a proud mama. I don't know, honestly, this is a mess. This is why I'm not live streaming because <laughs> I wanted to live stream on Saturday. However, um, it would have been just a brain addled mess. It really would. So let me um show you where we're up to. Uh, uh, up to. Seriously, I should be recording this video. I should just stop recording and come back another day. But here we are anyway. I'm already late, so we're here. Okay, so when we last left off, I think we were nowhere near this. I think, um, you know what? I'm not keen on that roof being like that. See, I'm getting distracted. I want this roof a little bit straighter. I didn't build this house, so no offense to the builder, but I just want this roof to be a little less. Oh no, that's too much. That's better. Oh gosh. Now I'm moving trees. Don't touch it anymore. Just don't touch it. So, um, when we last left off with this family, um, this is the start of Room Scratch Challenge. I have done two current households so far, so I will put a link to the playlist in the description box. So do do go ahead and check that out. It's a very short challenge that I wrote myself. It actually hasn't. Ugh. It hasn't taken me very long to complete it in a sense. So. Um, essentially what you do is you have your plot of land. It's very much like the start of a legacy. It's very much like the start of like a runaway teen challenge, but there's a little bit more stricter on the rules. But at the end of the last part, we had Grace and her, oh, are they engaged? I don't think they are engaged. Let me check. Um, where is he? Oh, there we go. They're soulmates and dating girlfriends, so that's okay. So when we left off at the end of the last part, we had, Grace was pregnant. Um, they didn't have much of a house. They basically had a little shack, I would say. And um, we, yeah, she was pregnant and it was the very early stages of the pregnancy. I think in the last current household, we actually tried for a baby. And um, Dax and uh, Tegan have actually had a little puppy of their own. It definitely takes after Tegan, but look how cute. Cookie is. This is little Cookie, everybody. Welcome to the family, Cookie. So we have, currently have three dogs. Um, if you don't know the backstory of these characters, Grace basically had Tegan. She was uh, virtually homeless living on this plot of land. She met um, Alex through um, basically finding his dog, thinking it was a stray. And then he, he came over and was like, oh, I'm sorry. He got off the lead. They got talking. I think they, you know, had some chemistry and uh, that. The rest is history, I suppose. So, um, 
I want auto light this. Is that not even on? No, auto light, all lights. There we go. We've got to save some pennies. So we've actually done really well financially. So the rules are that neither of them are allowed to get a job. Are you begging for a little bite? Look at her face. She's like, oh, you. <laughs> um. So what am I, what am I trying to say? Is he awake? Yeah, he's awake. So yeah, they had this like little shack. They had barely anything. I think they had a, be a bed. All right, you can take him for a walk. Go on a walk. Go for a jog because he's quite into his fitness. Um, he is a fisherman, if you didn't know. He has got really far with his aspiration. He is on level four of it. Nearly completed it. He just needs to collect nine more types of fish and reach ten level 10 of fishing skill. And he's currently uh, level seven. So he's doing really well. Grace is doing okay as well. I think she just needs to complete a collection yeah that's all she needs to do which is awesome like i said this challenge hasn't really taken me very long oh i want to get i wonder if i can buy the isn't there a like a lucky one i'm sure there's a lucky like a you're more likely to find collectible i suppose she might already have the collector one though wouldn't she yeah because she's that aspiration what else have we got i'm gonna go for all oh, we've already got marketable Creative visionary? We're going to go for that. So currently she has dog lover, loves the outdoors, creative. Now she has creative visionary. Creative visionaries have a higher chance of painting and writing masterworks. She's marketable. Marketable sims sell items they crafted for Mosmodian. She's responsible um, and she's a collector, which is really good. Oh God, now you want to go for a walk. All right. Feel the love. We're not actually going to... Give special smoochies. You shouldn't be teaching your your child to um to to scrounge. Oh, they're so cool. I love this family so much, and I'm I'm kind of sad that I didn't get a chance to play them too much. But um, so as part of the rules of the starters from scratch, you can't just simply um. What's the word? You can't just simply um build your house stick in some electrics like you have to pay she basically bought a plot of, plot of land and it, there was no electrics no water supply so she said to pay ten thousand pounds to get the electric connected before she could have any electrical objects that includes lights that includes um obviously ovens fridges stoves oh you right we're gonna let you about waking us up because we want to train you to be a very very good pooch and actually i think we gave some food to tegan so we better give some to uh to little cookie here these two are like two peas in a freaking pod these dogs <laughs> cookie definitely takes after her mum oh look that's so cute if you want some food cookie then you better there we go go and go and eat that you little cutie pie um, so she actually saved up, I think by the end of the second current household, she managed to save up £10,000 for the water and got herself a shower because previously she was using a wooden bathtub outside and using pond water. Yeah, that's how that's how low things were. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. We could have put it in our lovely nano bin. They were eating out of a cooler. Um, that's annoying me. They were eating out of a cooler and all that sort of stuff. Like it wasn't. It wasn't a great existence and then when she met alex i think things turned around actually they were bringing in more income which was good and slowly but surely these two fell in love they had a very romantic date at the romance festival if you um if you do want to see any of the screenshots from this i am uploading them to a tumblr page and that'll be linked down below as well you need to be quiet mr Papa. i kind of can afford beds for them but i don't want to like it sounds horrible but i don't want to waste money on that right now um i am si kind of saving some money because i want to extend the house a little bit bigger or even put a second story on because it is pretty small but yeah this is not the house they started with i actually sold everything on their lot when i felt like i had enough money we had about twenty five thousand, and we managed to afford this really cute house off the gallery i'll go into build mode so i can put the, the lights well the lights i can put the sun on <laughs> um so that's, let's put the afternoon sun on. Um, yeah, so we managed to download this house off the gallery and, and, you know, absolutely no cheats involved. We paid for it in full and she started up this little plot of land here for her garden. The pond is gone. Unfortunately, I do think I want to get the pond back because I really like the pond and I'm thinking like of having a wedding venue out here. I think that'll be so cute. 
So yeah, I might be bringing the pond back, but I can't afford it right now. I'll just see if I can find on the gallery who made this house. Let's just look up English country. Oh, here it is. Yeah, this is it. It looks a bit different. Ah, no, it's not. Here we go. Here's the original by Frimlin. Obviously a great builder. I'm going to give you a cheeky follow, Frimlin. Thank you very much. Um, so they built the house. Uh, can I see it on here? I suppose it doesn't matter. I've told you who it is now. Yeah, they are. They look like a freaking awesome builder, to be fair. I'm definitely glad I've stumbled across them. But anyway, yes, the original was by Frimlin. And it's a really cool house. I did change it a teeny bit. Like, I put these railings on the front. Oh, no, the railings were already there. I put the railings on the sort of sides of the steps. I changed this porch to wooden board. It was just concrete before. And I painted, I think I did added a little bit more brickwork to the outside. But other than that, and obviously the inside, I, I overhauled. Other than that, I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out. So Grace is asleep. And, oh, are you back from your walk yet? Yeah, that's a very long walk, my friend. Why don't you grab something to eat? Um, hire as a caterer? No, just... Just grab something, serve some dinner, let's serve some salad. Yeah, so we got three dogs and uh, Dax and uh, Tegan have had a little puppy. Oh, and the most important thing is we did get pregnant and have the baby. So they've had a little girl who is called Fleur. I think that's really cute. And um, they're very like natural people, I think, in terms of they love the outdoors, they love gardening, they love everything like that. So I'm actually so pleased that they had a little one and they called her Fleur. Um, let me turn all the lights on and I'll just give you a not so grand tour. This is literally it, it's tiny, but for them, this is so much more luxurious than they ever had before. I love, my favorite room is probably the bathroom. I bought these, I bought, <laughs> I downloaded these new backless bathtubs, um, which are CC, which I think is really cool. Like you can have the tile background for the rest of the, the the bathroom so I just built this like wall here to make it look like it's all built in I think that looks good but yeah this is an awesome house I could never build anything like this so thank you Frim Lynn very much for that right you're supposed to be getting out some food clear out some food and cook me some salad so I do think I want him to propose um like I said this is only going to be a short current household video but I want something to happen oh yeah well take 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 it off take Dax off the lead there we go What's up with you? Have you got food? There you go, there's food right there, my friend. Eat it. We probably should get another feeder, to be honest. Cookie, um, oh, I don't know if Cookie can go outside. Oh, no, you're not going to go drink from a puddle, my friend. You can pee. Can you go here? Aw, I'm not sure he can get down on the porch. Go pee pee. Go pee pee. You know what, I feel bad that I don't have beds, but I just can't fit three dog beds in here, especially the big ones. Oh, Man, that is a lot of pee for a tiny dog. We're going to give you a treat because you peed outside. She's very good. Why are you putting the salad in the bathroom, you strange man? I know it's a counter, but you've got plenty of counter space in your kitchen. <laughs> I'll show you their skills and stuff because um, I'll show you how far they've got while we're letting this play through so he, Alex is level seven of fishing that's by far his biggest skill he's also level three of fitness he does go jogging with the dog quite a lot and then he's literally a one in a bunch of other things but like I said he's doing really well in his um his aspiration and he doesn't have a job neither of them have jobs um he is good at loves outdoor foodie and collector he's actually got 2360 points so that's good I wonder what we could get him um I wonder what would be good. Super good. Mm, I think I'll just save those up because I'm not sure what I. Oh no, drinking your son's pee. Not what we want to see in our household. Thank you very much. Now I'm gonna get him go to sleep and then. I mean, they don't have to go to work. They have no schedule. Um. Grace. I nearly forgot her name. Then gosh. Grace, I think it's because when you're playing off screen, you don't talk out loud, so you don't say the Sims' names very often, and then I forget them. 
that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> she has reached level eight of painting. She's level five of gardening, four of fishing, three of pet training. I didn't realize it was that high. And then two and one in loads of other stuff. Pretty much she seems to be doing really well in loads of things. I, I kind of want to keep this painting for our room, but um, we could do with, it's a confident painting. So that would be, we probably want an inspiring, like you're not going for a walk. Why don't we send you hunting? Our dogs love going for walks. Let's, um, oh, we can't send hunting. She's definitely a hunter. There we go. Send hunting. So you talk back to me, dog. <coughs> okay, Alex, put that bowl down so I can put it in our nano bin. This house is a really small, but I really like it. I do want to just extend this. It's quite thin. The kitchen's quite narrow, so. Couch potato lesson. Cookie is a couch potato. They like dislike running and prefer to be lazy. Oh my god. So Dax is active, adventurous, playful. Tegan is hunter, independent, and friendly. I don't know how their child became basically a slob dog. <laughs> oh, this is is this a masterpiece? Oh, it's not that valuable. I think it would be nice to keep in their room. We're gonna, um, oh, can we not add a frame? There we go, frame that canvas. It's probably a bit, you know, if we get tight for cash, we can just sell it. But basically, I think the challenge has come to the end, really. Like, I've managed to build their house. Um, and, but I'm gonna continue playing them because I love them. Uh, lecture about barking, lecture about waking up. Not in the bedroom, please. You talk and rock and make a silly face and cuddle. And I do want to age. She's only been a baby for like a day, but I do want to age her up. So I might go ahead and do that now. This is my off. Uh, 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 excuse me. Lecture about indoor potty. We do not do that in the house. What an example you're setting for your child. Don't you dare lick that. Don't you dare drink that. Oh my god, our children. What are they doing? Our children. <laughs> they're our dogs. Oh my god, they're so naughty. I'm going to send... Um, oh, actually, I do want Alex to propose. Um, maybe they can go on a little date. A play date with the toddler and then he can propose. They're, they're very, like... Cutesy couple. I love them so much. I don't think he would do anything fancy, really. We might just go to a restaurant and then he can propose. Oh, I can't wait to see what she's going to look like when she edges up, actually. I think she's going to be adorable. Okay, so, oh, what trait do I want to pick? I'm going to pick... You know what? I'm going to make life easy for myself and I'm going to pick Angelic. Oh, okay. Let's uh, take her into... Oh, we can't take her into Cass while she's aging up. Okay. So while I'm in Cass, I think I might as well remind you guys of what their outfits are. I don't really know what you do in current households, but um, if you haven't seen the previous two, these are Gracie's outfits. This is her formal wear, her sports wear, sleep, um, party, and swimwear. I love her swimwear. I think she looks gorgeous. And... Here is Alex. Oh, Alex, my gosh, you've got muscly. I might have to tone you down there, my friend. These are Alex's everyday wears. Yeah, he's put on a lot of muscle. Oh my gosh, he's a beast in a good way. <laughs> That's his formal wear, his gym wear, sleep wear, um, party wear, and oh my God, look at him. He was not this beefy when we first uh, when we first met him. Um, <laughs> I probably will slim him down a little bit because he's not really, that's not really his type. So I'm going to go ahead and give Fleur a makeover and I'll join you back. So there we go, guys, there is Fleur. It was a really super quick makeover. This is her everyday wear, her formal wear, sleep wear, and her party wear. I think she's adorable. So we're going to head back into the game, but I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I think, um, I'm, because I don't want to keep this a short video, like an update video. If you want to see the engagement pictures, then you can uh, follow me over on Tumblr um, and I'll upload all that sort of goodies there. And if you want to see the sort of in-between current household screenshots of me just playing the game off, off screen, then you can go ahead and do that. But I'm going to have her, um, we're going to talk about her day and I want her to play with the toddler. 
Dax is just looking at the crib like, one minute was a baby? Now it's older and can pull my hair. <laughs> yeah, I think this family's really, really cute and I'm definitely going to keep playing them because I've fallen in love with them and maybe they will feature in an LP, a full LP in the future sometime. Perhaps if Seasons ever does come out for The Sims 4, um, this family I think would be very suitable because they're very, um, very outdoorsy, very naturey. So, yeah. But yeah, keep an eye out on the Tumblr. I will update you again at the end of May. Sorry, this one was a bit late, but uh, that's just what happens. Look how cute they are. I'm dying here. Thank you so much for watching this one. Um, and I, oh, I just quickly want to say, <laughs> let's pause on this because this is hilarious. I quickly just want to say um, that, sorry that my channel, I had hardly any uploads the last week, but I have been really... Um, like I say, really busy, but I have pre-recorded over this bank holiday weekend um, a video for every single day next week. So we've got Not So Berry, we've got Foster Challenge, we've got Parenthood, we've got Jungle Adventure, Adventure, and then another Not So Berry on Friday. Some of them are even edited and ready to upload, so I'm feeling ahead of schedule. And I probably will try to live stream on Tuesday evening around about 6pm, so if you're around do drop by it's a lot of fun it's a really nice family um we've got we've i think this is like the fifth strip fourth full fish stream we've got some regulars and uh it's a very nice environment and a lot of fun and i do have a discord now if you want to go ahead and check that out link will be in the description anyway enough of me self-promoing <laughs> um come and join the phd family i'll see you in my next video